Jazzy, you want to go see Daddy? You want to go see Daddy? Oh, guess what? It's going to be Daddy. Where's Daddy at? Where's Daddy? Hey, Daddy? Hey, go see Daddy. Look. Oh, fuck, there it is. <laughs> hey, buddy. Shit. <laughs> All right, fuck. Uh. <laughs> hey, Daddy. Go ahead. Chad Boley from Ramstein Air Force Base in Germany introduces our honorary starters for today's Ready? NASCAR Sprint Cup Series race. Hello to everyone. I wanted to thank NASCAR and the USO for bringing my family, Stephanie, Austin, Cameron, and Gwendolyn out to this race today. I love you guys, and I wish I could be there with you, and I cannot wait to be home with you guys here in a few months. So please help me welcome home from Ramstein Air Force Base in Germany, Sergeant Chad Boley. their shocked faces when I came walking out, especially my daughter. <laughs> Just seeing her come running up is amazing. Well, this is a special day in the life of our church. I um, also want to bring communion this morning. Uh, uh, Hunter Mocken will be receiving his first communion. Uh, and that for the rest of the mostly fifth graders, about three, four weeks ago, and we were not able to spread so much of congratulations for receiving this first communion day uh, during our communion part of the service. Also, it is Easter, and since it's Easter after the service, we have a special uh, Easter egg hunt for all our children. And so, uh, you know, Jazz Dump will begin 10 minutes after uh, the service concludes, uh, roughly 10.40, 10.45, somewhere in there. So we'll gather up for donuts and coffee, all invited to uh, stay for that, and we'll have the Easter egg hunt just out the main entrance, kind of to the left. We've got some areas roped off there, and there will be uh, four different colors eggs, and so let's get four eggs. Uh, please stop at that so everybody has a chance. We've got, I don't know how many hundreds of eggs out there, but uh, there'll be plenty for everyone, and we want uh, all children uh, to participate in that. I think we set up to age 12, and so uh, hopefully you have a great time with that for the Easter egg hunt. Uh, our thanks to all those who uh, have contributed flowers, uh, lilies, and mums, and azaleas, and tulips, and whatever else is up here. Um, thank you very much. Your names are on the back here in honor and memory of people, and thank you for that contribution. Well, as many as you know, we've been a church of uh, many, many blessings that has happened uh, so much time. And, uh, you know, on Good Friday, as we celebrated, uh, those disciples were 
devastated, absolutely devastated by what happened on Good Friday that they thought Jesus was going to be their king. And uh, lo and behold, he ends up being crucified. And so the good news of Easter is that um, something very, very exciting has happened. And uh, in this church, we've been able to be blessed in so many, many ways. Even just this last uh, few weeks, we've been able to give out several food baskets. And the kids have been participating in packing some of those baskets. And, uh, many elderly in our community have been visited. And uh, this morning, I want to invite uh, Susan Midland and her family to come forward, please. And uh, her four children are here, Wyatt, Grace, Sophie, and Libby. And uh, Susan is going to be our reader this morning. And uh, the family is here. And uh, the Midbet family has uh, just been a blessing in our church. This last week, I saw them over at the church, uh, come on over here, in front of the screen up here. Uh, this past week, I saw them over at the church. They were uh, cleaning the church. And uh, as many of you have, we want to thank you guys for helping out. They made it a family affair. And uh, they've been doing a great job. And uh, we also know that we've been praying, praying for. Uh, Susan's husband, Tom, is in the military over at Afghanistan, and I think he's expected to come back sometime in June. And uh, you guys miss your dad? Yeah? And, uh, but uh, how long has your dad um, been over in Afghanistan? You know? July of last summer. When is he due to come back? Okay. Well, as I mentioned, we've been able to uh, do some blessing in this congregation. We wanted to bless you with someone that might be uh, with some gifts that would be a housekeeper to help you in all the ways that you have uh, uh, helped out us. And so we could ask this uh, housekeeping gift to come on out. Jason. Something's supposed to happen. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, I guess something was supposed to happen. Well, you know, Easter's all about surprises. We'll see what happens. <laughs> How did the cleaning go over at the church the other day? Right? <laughs> Except for you?
We've aired this story in the past, but with Memorial Day just ahead, we thought we'd bring back this feature about a place that's been called the most patriotic coffee shop in the country. Look for the Star Spangled Banner waving over Main Street and you have arrived at the Saturday morning go-to place for every veteran within driving distance. Starting at 9 a.m., the volunteer band is tuning up for a friendly jam session. And the volunteer baristas have the coffee flowing. Now that pot holds 100 gallons, and I'll probably empty it before the day's over. The coffee here is much better than military issue, but this gathering place has become known among vets for much more than the hot drinks. The coffee shop and the people that I met and everything uh, changed my life. And to this day, I give every day, I'm here every, every day I can get here. And the coffee shop to me uh, represents a place of healing. Well, you, you get to talk to people that know what your feelings are and what's going on. I heard one guy had gone over to the VA in Salisbury and somebody over there told him to come over here. He was having a hard time dealing with, you know, life in general. And uh, he said the best thing they told him was to come over and get a cup of coffee. This is where he got his medicine. Yeah, he come over and got his medicine here. He got some coffee. I'm 88 years old, okay? So I've been around a while. I've never seen a place in this world that I've been that is as friendly as there is in Morrisville, I swear. This is absolutely outstanding. The coffee shop came into existence thanks to Richard Warren, a veteran himself who passed away before he ever got to see the final fruits of his labor. He created the nonprofit organization Welcome Home Vets Incorporated. It goes hand in hand with the coffee shop. This military museum at the entrance to the coffee lounge is loaded with donated materials from many of Richard's friends, acquaintances, and from others around the community. Lynn King recently volunteered his time to help design and build the exhibition room. But that's not important. The most important thing were the volunteers. I had about eight to 12 men every day for seven weeks, and we did this place over. The exhibits cover everything from the Revolutionary War to the World Wars and every era leading up to the present day. There is no charge for admission, but any extra dollars from coffee sales or donations goes into helping veterans and even others in any way possible. This is for the community. We cater specifically to the veterans within the community, but Everyone is welcome because there are people walking around in mainstream society that have demons and we will welcome them here and help them in any way we can. There are some fascinating people here. Within this room, I met no fewer than five World War II veterans. Rod McFarquhar survived the Normandy invasion, only to run into a German decapitating wire a few days later in Belgium. He survived it, but spent the rest of the war recuperating. And on the day of this interview, Len McCutcheon was celebrating the 72nd anniversary of his first day in the infantry. But the best stories might be the friendly ribbing they give to one another. We had a joke came through the other day about uh, given the following order, secure the building, what would happen? The Navy would lock it and turn out the lights. The Army would establish a perimeter and kill anyone who came inside. The Marines would blow it to smithereens and clear it out and leave it a hulk. The Air Force, on the other hand, would rent it for six months and take with an option to buy. So this is the way we, we go at it. You get coffee, culture, and as much or as little conversation as you want on Saturday mornings at Richard's Coffee Shop in Mooresville. I'm Rick Sullivan for North Carolina Weekend. Richard's Coffee Shop and the Living Military Museum is at 1605 North Main Street in Mooresville. It's open Monday through Saturday from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Remember, vets get free coffee on Thursdays and there's bluegrass on Saturdays. For more information, give them a call at 704-663-0488 or go online to welcomehomeveteran.org. Hi, I'm Seth Field. I've been in Afghanistan for about nine months, and uh, my parents and pretty much everybody else I know thinks I'm still in Afghanistan. I'm not. I'm in America. 
Because I'm with America. freedom. Yeah, that's right, America. So I just want to tell you guys that I am back home. And I'm also surprising my parents and a whole bunch of other people tonight. But I would like for you to turn to your neighbor and ask, do you wish that Seth Field were here tonight, back from Afghanistan? Please turn around and look. Sergeant Seth Field, back from Afghanistan. Discovery Bay to my aunt's house and I have a very special someone next to me. We are going to surprise my aunt and my cousin who have no idea that he is here from the Navy. Here's Brock. What's up We're everybody? So basically, I came out here this weekend on 4th of July to surprise my mom, my stepdad, my little brother, and my sister. My dad knows, but uh, nobody else knows. So what were we going to do? Is head out to Discovery Bay and and I'm gonna have Brittany pick up my sister and bring her out to the shopping mall where I'm gonna be waiting inside of some store and I'm going to uh, just walk up and ask her if she missed me so you guys will see that in the next clip and uh, after that we're gonna go ahead and go to my mom's house she's gonna be having a 4th of July barbecue so we're gonna just basically walk in the backyard and scare the shit out of her. I'm probably gonna have to make sure that Brittany goes and is prepared to catch her because my mom will probably pass out. But uh, we'll see how this goes. So I guess we'll keep you guys posted. Wish us luck that everything goes smoothly and everyone is so surprised because they're all gonna cry and it's gonna be epic. I'm gonna laugh. Till next time. Are you guys fine with me, okay? Dude. No. You guys are such. Oh my god. Oh, shit. Oh my god. Dude, what? I really like it. Mine is there. Hold on. I need to do this. You all did this. You guys are so good. What? Brother, how is this? Good. What? I missed you. You guys playing this out and you knew we too. We got one down, one to go. You guys are some. <laughs> it's awesome. Brother, don't make me do this right now. I just got on fresh makeup and everything. <laughs> Brother, I miss you. I miss you too. Oh my god. Dude, I really just can't even believe this is real. Like, I really don't even know. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe this is real. Like, I really don't even All right, we're going for round two. You ready? Round two. Did I 
get you? Oh my god! That's two for two. You're so skinny! Oh my god! <laughs> ben! <laughs> oh my god! How did you get here? It was a long trip. Oh my god! Give me some love, come on. How did you get here? <laughs> Oh my god. How the hell did you get here? It's a long story. Oh my I got time. Oh my god! Oh, oh my, my god! Look at you! <laughs> my god! Oh my god! Oh man. <laughs> oh, don't you dare put my ass on Facebook. I'll kill you. <laughs> You're going in your bikini on Facebook. Yeah. Yep. Oh my god! Why are you grown six here? inches. Happy 4th of July! Yeah, yeah. happy 4th, by the way. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, Gary. Oh my god! So, was it worth it? Because I'm going to go in first. Is it recording? Oh, yeah. Wow! She did what you said! I said, are you staying here? Are you staying here? Yeah. Really? <laughs> we were sitting here discussing it. Oh, she had a, She said, I had 